all right how we doing people this is going to be a follow-up video to my previous one i posted about my project drilling a couple holes in my desk to mount my steering wheel here uh, if you recall in the other video i was put these holes in and what i was doing was i was bringing the screw up from the bottom there and i was attaching it to the underside of the logitech and uh, mounting it like that and that was that was easy enough uh, it only took me a couple of minutes i would just pop my electric drill under there and uh, get it mounted but it, it just uh i figured out a quicker way to do it i just wanted to show you all what this was so instead of going from the bottom up into the logitech what i've done is this and let me just show you here okay so instead of going the way i was i've now got the two screws coming out of the wheel so from the inside screw it on there very tightly okay and that enables me to just pop it down into the desk and uh, go from there now I ended up taking off the clips and I'll show you why here in just a second or the clamps or whatever you call them but let me get this at a different angle so I can show you how this works all right so hopefully you can see this okay but I want to put my wheel on my desk now all I do is come up, line up the holes here. This is a little bit awkward doing it while trying to film instead of being over the top of it, but just pop that down and then we're all set. Okay. And then again, that's very sturdy, just right there doing nothing else. Okay. And then if uh, it's time to get back to work or if the boss calls, I can pop this back up, take it off, and then I'm ready to work. But see, there it is. It's in there really sturdy you can see and I don't even have um, anything on the bottom there it's just the two in there kind of bracing it now I had bought some um, wing nuts m6 wing nuts I thought I was going to just uh, put them on there but I don't even really think it's needed it's just uh, pretty sturdy just like it is and again the reason I took the um, clamps off was because when I was having to put it on it was kind of at an awkward angle because it's like that so to get down in with the with the screws it kind of had to go up under so it was just uh it was easier to just take them off and just uh, put it straight down again you can see very sturdy um, anything you know just normal driving or whatever i don't even think you'd have to clamp it down if you're about to do a weekend session you know you may want to throw the wing nuts on there but um, i think i'm going to keep it like this for now it seems very easy to go back and forth and uh, it works just fine so to do that what you're going to have to do is disassemble your wheel. I forgot to take a picture when I had mine disassembled, but this is what it looks like. Uh, I found this gentleman's video where he took it apart and went over it. So I'll, I'll put his link in the description if you want to see the um, complete disassembly. There's also a shorter one I use just to take it apart. I'll put that in the description as well. But uh, this is what it's going to look like. So once you got it apart, you'll have your two holes there. And um, you'll see right there the little silver holes there is where you're going to actually put the screw in again it's going to be the m6 the same ones i used in the other video just going the uh, opposite way and once it's all put back together you know they'll be popping out here so you can also take off the clamps if you need just depending on your setup so i'll uh, like i said include both those videos in the description so you can watch them as well again just a slight adjustment to the project I did in my previous video just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, I like I like not having the clamps on and just the uh, two screws because I can set this on my other desk just at the end of it when I'm not using it and as you see it's gets it out of the way you don't have to set it upside down or whatever with the clamps like you did before anyway it only took about 30 minutes to do all that so definitely will save some time in the long run so I recommend if you're uh, similar set up as mine and uh, i want to be able to quickly switch back and forth again let me know of any questions in the comments and um, thanks for watching happy gaming